I've been trying to figure this out for about a week and a half, and it should be simple, but I'm I'm struggling. But I finally figured it out, and all these other people asking questions, no one really answered my question. Uh, Power driven diesel did, but that's because they sold me the transmission. What I was doing wrong, one, I had a bad butt connector, so that was pretty much the reason why I wasn't figuring anything out. And as you see, I got a bunch of them. I am using the right tool, but they still don't always crimp right. Okay, so pin one, as you see, is cut from the ECU, or whatever, PCM, or whatever you want to call it. So it's cut. Now, I don't know if that's necessary, but I cut it because that's what I was told to do. And I ran out to a power source from I turned my vehicle on, which I have an air dog, so I used that as my power source. I'm holding the pin this way in the diagram it shows the pin I think it shows it I don't know it shows it different but I hold it this way here because that's pin one that's seven and that's six overdrive lockup or vice versa I don't remember right now um, but the red wire is going to overdrive on my switch and the green is I mean the green is going to overdrive and the red is going to lock up I know I said that backwards but that's really what's going on the power wire only comes to play down here in the transmission side on the switch side, I ran a ground in my case, and I used this wire here that has three wires that go up to the top. And that's it, really. That's all there is to it. Whatever you use for switches, the two blacks, one black goes, you know, well, you have one black wire, and that's on both poles. So, there's my shifter set up. Um, and this black wire is on one pole on this switch and on one pole on that switch. And then the red wire goes to this switch for lockup. And then the green wire, I mean, it changes colors, but ignore that, goes to this switch. It took me a lot to get it figured out. <laughs> and it really is that simple. Black wire goes to your transmission case. You can ground it out on the car, whatever. But if you want to be sure, ground it to the case. And then, you, and then that goes to these one on you know they're shared it's a common ground and then the upper the opposite poles one goes to pin six one goes to pin seven and on the bottom on the transmission harness connector i'll say it again the one pin pin one is 12 volt and you attach that to a power source that when you start the vehicle and cut on your transmission side i mean on the harness side there cut it so the piece the ecm does not communicate with it all right thanks for uh, watching hopefully i help somebody else out because I wish somebody had explained it this thoroughly to my dumb self because apparently I'm dense and I needed that much explanation. And even then, I might not have got it. So if you don't understand it, I get you, man. I was just there. Have a great day.